Little blue eyes staring out the window, looking toward the sky, imagining any place but here. You're only seven years old, but have so many big thoughts in your little mind. My seven-year-old eyes held the same big thoughts. I wanted to spread my wings and fly away from my small mountain world and fly far over the ocean. I wanted to be so far from feeling less than, having less, seeing less, and being less than the rest of the world. My mom had never been on a plane or left the mountains, so she didn't understand. So I clung to my books in the hope that one day I could leave Appalachia and be an extraordinary heroine. Blue eyes, I worked so hard for you. I stayed up late and I studied so hard for that scholarship to the university in the city where people made fun of my accent. I worked two jobs and lived off dollar menus while other girls went shopping at the mall. I still don't feel comfortable in malls, but I graduated and then I met your dad and my world was big, beautiful, and full of love. I walked to the farmer's market on Saturdays and daydreamed that you might have your daddy's curly hair and my grandma's magical blue eyes. And when you opened yours for the first time, there they were. You were more than I ever dreamed possible. The whole world was swaddled in a little pink blanket. So much joy in all our eyes. But hard times hit, as they sometimes do, and we had to leave our city and go back to the mountains. But I also got to become an art teacher and teach little mountain children about the world and how art connects us to it. I watched your eyes tear up every morning on the way to daycare, but I comforted myself knowing that one day I would watch you painting in my classroom. And so I worked hard through pain and exhaustion day after day until one day I looked in the mirror and I didn't recognize myself. I was pale, gaunt, and withering. But I was also offered a new teaching job closer to our beloved city. So I pushed myself forward to make it back to our city windows and heirloom tomatoes. I was standing in that classroom when the doctor called himself to tell me that I had cancer. As the crayons fell from my hand, all I could think about was not being able to see you in your little brother's eyes looking up at me from my classroom carpet. Through my chemo, radiation, and surgeries, I saw your once joyful eyes begin to change. I never wanted you to see the world with these eyes. And all I can think about with every breath is how I can make the world big and beautiful for you. I have two jobs and I hope that you will watch me fly again. I want you to know the way to your dreams, wherever they are, and how to pick yourself up and keep trying. You'll grow up by the ocean and the never ending horizon where you can see forever. And whether I'm here or beyond that big sky, I pray that my eyes will be watching you soar.